Barry FC their starting lineup sees four changes from the side that won 2 1 against Ramsbottom last time out. It sees the return of Andy Briggs into the starting 11. The team in full is number one, Harry Wright, number two, Keenan Ferguson, three is Gaz P, number four, the captain, Tom Moore, number five is Aaron Morris, number six is Charlie Doyle, number seven is Max Harper, who's on the ball now, number eight, Billy Reeves, number nine, Andy Briggs, number ten, Andy Skarswick, and number eleven, Dean Pennington. It's a wild start here on Roach Valley Radio because. Uh, well, we've, we should be a mere three days later as uh, Paddy Moore on the attack here on this far side. The strikes come in and it's well wide in the end by Freddie Mackle. But it might be a response to the fact that he knows we need two wins and we're up. The ball's flicked on here and Mackle's in there and it's another uh, missed opportunity from a very similar position for uh, Freddie Mackle there. Just can't seem to get it on target, he's put it wide at the near post again. Left to right, shooting in towards the uh, the Berry cohort, and I think Paddy won the toss and opted for uh, for the switch of ends, but can Berry get a goal here early? Here's Pinnington, looks to clip one towards the back post, it's ended up on target, and uh, Matthew Hammock called into action for the first time today, is he? Man, but is stopped, but the pass forward by Tyler James is poor and Morris almost caught in possession there, but and Morris has been caught in possession and Paddy are here and Paddy have scored. Joel Brownhill and a calamity at the back for Berry, and this is not exactly how Dave Manab would drop into the number eight Barker Williams who hacked the ball over the top and oh, it's another It's another uh, mishap at the back and luckily enough the Lino's flag causes, uh, well, spares the blushes of Aaron Morris yet again. Or oh, oh, gambles with the header, and he did the latter. It was a foul, I think he did pull back Harry Wright, but goodness me, scary stuff there. Well, here's Harp now on this far side. You know how dangerous he can be, looks to flip a ball in. It's deflected at source by Levi Lewis, and out of play for a corner. Back almost, uh, Mealy just been told to stand on Pinnington, midway, partway through uh, the box and the Edge of the halfway line as Harp's left footed in swinger comes in. Briggs is going to attack it and nobody was marking him, but in the end it's a good header away by Lewis. And now here come Paddy and potentially on a on a one on two ball over the top. And here comes Melia now. He has Doyle to beat. He's in the box now, tries to shoot. Blocked by Doyle and it'll fall into the hands of Wright. Wright has to play the ball down the line. Scarswick flicks one on. Shouts of hands, nothing given. And but Briggs has the ball here. Briggs wants to turn his man and try to find Pinnington, but his outstretched leg, his outstretched pass, not strong enough in the end. And, and Pete, guys, Pete, in you know, acres of space on this left side. Can he find the ball into the box? It's going to fall to Skarsbeck on the back post. Skarsbeck takes it past his man byline. Looks to cut it back. It's going to fall to Pinnington. Shots blocked. Short calls for hands. Referee Oliver Holland says no. And Barry will have a throw in. Just going to fall to Doyle. Crowd shot, shoot. He instead plays it out wide to Skarsbrook. Skarsbrook looks to take his man byline again. Pushes his man off. Puts the ball in. Now that looks a bit more like handball. It's going to fall to Skarsbrook again. He tries to put the ball into the box. It's a good block by Strauss. The ball heads out of play. The refs. The line has got his flag up. Oh. I wondered why he was whistling there. Because it wasn't a foul from Skarsbrook. There was even a chance for Doyle to shoot there. But that was one way he knew what he was doing. He sort of flicked it towards his hand, didn't he? Mm. But technically, the letter of the law, that should be a penalty. His hand was away from his body from where I was stood, but the referee has overruled his linesman on the near side. Well, that's a, a setback, but Berry are in the ascendancy here. You can feel the crowd getting frustrated, certainly with the referee this time. The linesman, I don't really know why he needed to call him over if he was saying it wasn't a penalty. Referee's given a goal kick, much to the displeasure of plenty of Berry fans behind the goal. Go all the way back to Morris. Morris has plenty of chance to run forward. Crowd shot shoot for about 30 yards, and that one <laughs> is well over the bar. Here's Pete on the far side. Ball over the top, trying to find Briggs. He can knock that one down to Scarry's brick, but Scarry's again just slipping. It's going to fall to Pinto, he's going to hit it first time, and it flashes across the box. And out of play, ref will call over to uh, attempt to play at that and wins himself a throw in. Ball over the top and uh, pushing the back of Andy Briggs. 
Absolutely food and drinks and a welcome to social space for the local community to enjoy in their sites and water on Brandlesham. Head to cosley.co.uk for more information as this ball is clipped to the back post. Morris wins the first time. It's going to drop to more at the back post though. More clips the ball in. Fires a ball in. We're obviously going to call for a ball. Wasn't too sure about that one personally. And a good challenge from Harrop to stop the break. It's Pinnington now at the edge of the box. He's going to have a go. It's deflected. And I feel like every single deflection <laughs> in the box is going to be called handball by some part of the Berry fans. Left side looks to pass through the lines to Pinnington. And Pinnington does well. He takes it past one, takes it past two. Dean Pinnington's into the box now. Looks to hit one near post. That's just wide and... Pinton's playing with his tail between his legs. Down the opposite side this time. Still doesn't wield any positive results in the flick on. Finds Harb. Oh. And Harb now has the ball at his feet. Releases Skysbeck. And he Skysbeck off the post. Oh my word. I can't believe it. Just hit a little bubble, didn't it? Onto the post. And wavelength. And another mix up at the back has seen a 2 on 2 break now with James. James from distance. Good block by Tom Moore. It's going to fall to go to Mackell though. Ball over top to Brownhill but the flag's up. He has the ball in the back of the net. Brings Andy welcome in social space for the local community to enjoy with their sights in Walshaw and Brandlesham as Andy Briggs has actually broken away here. Andy Briggs is in here. He's at a tight angle. Cuts inside. Andy Briggs saved. It's actually Scouse Briggs. I think Briggs played it, was, it in. It was. Sorry. Yeah. Oh that's a good chance though isn't it? Harrop. Max Harrop's going to run it, run it his man. Max Harrop. Max Harrop! Oh, what a save. What a save that from is Matthew what, Hamlet. That's what he can do, Max Harrop. Fantastic little roll of the ball. Cut inside on his left foot. It was headed for that bottom left-hand corner. It was a brilliant effort from Harrop. And the ball heads out. Play for a corner, but the referee has blown his whistle for half-time. to right with Tyler James. Very have 45 minutes to get back in this game this time, left-footed from the midfielder. Everybody in the box now. Comes into the middle, it's headed straight back for another corner. Another chance for Harrop to see what he can do. Comes into the near post, won the header, it just sailed over the bar. There were calls from a few fans for a corner, but it's... He's trying to shield the defender there, he did a good job. Panahan just go for the long ball clearance in the end. Straight two more. Good header. Now Chirera. Back to goal. Good knock off there. Can Harrop do anything here? Because he touch. A loopy effort. It's just wide. Thursday too. It's a chance for a break on Sorry. Quick. He was, wasn't he? I thought it was going to be too far to go to play. But Chirera is cutting in here now. He's going to go for goal. He's swerving and fizzing around. Didn't quite get the turn on it that he needed. Really, Great defending really for good Ferguson. For, Mor oh, for Morris, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Morris. Now here's Skysbrick. Can Barry do anything from that? Chirera! Great effort! To the post again! Oh, the second time Barry have hit the woodwork. And that one was even closer. To dig out of the ground and swirl in to the box. There it goes. Everyone's missed it. Skysbrick at the edge! Oh, it's just wide. Oh, I thought it might be heading to the top corner. We'll come back for Combo. The chance is still alive. Right foot cross, swirling over to Chirera on the volley. The rebound save again! Oh! What a save from close range. The edge, the, still in. Takes on his man twice. Good play, can he get the ball in? He can. The shot's there. And there's again appeals for a handball. And these are the most vivid appeals we've seen all game. More so than in the first half. I, my, my view my view's blocked there. It's a flicked on shot from Max Harrop. And Max Harrop's blocked my view. But all of the Berry players are surrounding the kit, surrounding the... Uh, the referee and the fans behind the goal as well not happy by Charlie Doyle more oh it's a very heavy it's, yeah it's a foul on Chirera that time that that would have hurt we know how dangerous he can be from the edge of the area Chirera well he came very close in the first half can he go closer Harrop just over the bar always oh, going over yeah a few fake run-ups here it comes easily dealt with that sort of fizzing. In fact, it's a great effort, and the rebound could be in here. It's 2 0. 
and it's a really fortuitous goal for Bray to concede. Paddingham take a two-goal lead now. It's going to be very difficult for the Shakers to come back. Maybe it's about time that we do it to another yeah. team. It'd help if we could get one straight Can away. he get one back? Oh, he's missed it. It was a really good build-up play. Flicked it over his head. That would have been a cracking goal and would have given us real momentum again. Very much route one now, because we're not oh, going to get some of the curler. And yeah, it's easily saved. Keep read that one well. Um, that was destined for the far corner. But Chance tonight to go top. Yeah, obviously, uh, it was Withenshaw, uh, Withenshaw FC who dropped points against second bottom burst going Yeah, there. yeah, uh, absolutely. So, yeah. Well, there can't be long left. Really, it's very finely get the ball out of their own uh, corner. Well, it's up there to Jepson. It's not a good knock on. Thought about playing it down the line. Harrop, he's going to cross it. It's not a bad one, that. But there's yeah. a shove there. Here it comes from Harrop. Come into the middle of the box. It's headed over for another corner. But Barry just falling short at the moment. Here's Harrop with his second corner in a row. It's a better one. It's headed away. Only for Skysbrick. Back to Harrop. Back heel to Skysbrick. Just turns it. Turns himself again. That's too far, the cross. Chirera comes steaming in. Does well. Good pass down the line from Coughlin. Harrop with a bit of skill, more skill. <sighs> Ran out of options, wins a free kick though. And booted away, that should probably be a yellow card for David Lynch. Whilst yeah. referee's back was turned and Paddy and players not happy with that one. Games with shit from both sides, here comes Combo, right footed, curling, brilliant oh, goal into the top corner. He kisses the badge, it's probably too little too late, but Berry have a goal, they deserved a goal. And it was another cracker from Conor Comba. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what he does, isn't it? And an unbelievable strike into that top right corner. And Matthew Hamner has played amazingly. We'll probably be a bit frustrated. He isn't going to be keeping his clean sheet today, but that'd be getting yeah, no keeper saving that. No, it's a bit more than all the more impressive because the goalkeeper was on the right side. He just went completely over him. And that's another hopefully important goal from Conor Comba. The only one that matters is for the referee, and there it is. Bury have blown it tonight. They've lost 2-1 in really a game that is a must-win as much, as much as you can get at this level. Two wins and Bury would have been promoted. They have lost the first of those two games, so it's as you were at the top.